thing about being a tough guy is that someone is always looking to take you down. The new 2010 Chevy Camaro SS won our last pony car comparison test, but this time around it faces two worthy rivals. The beefy 2009 SRT8 Dodge Challenger and the supercharged 2010 Shelby GT500. With a 426 horsepower 6.2 liter V8, the Chevy is not one to run from a fight, so it's anyone's guess which car will be left standing when the tire smoke clears. While price isn't the determining factor in this comparison, value is certainly key. The Camaro is the least expensive car here, and even with options like a sunroof and the RS package, it still comes in at around $36,000. The Challenger is about $45,000 when you add a manual transmission and convenience features like a nav system. The Shelby with HIDs and the electronic package is more than $50,000. Limit the contest to weaving through cones, and it's the Challenger SRT8 that dominates. Its 67.6 mile per hour run is the best in this test. On the other hand, the Camaro doesn't seem to like quick transitions. It's slow to react to steering inputs, which partially explains why it's the slowest of the group in the slalom. The GT500 is right in the middle at 66.6 miles per hour. Thundering down a drag strip, the supercharged 540 horsepower Shelby proves its worth by turning in an astonishing 4.6 second run to 60 and covering the quarter mile in 12.6 seconds at 113.5 miles per hour, the quickest of the bunch. The Camaro is next quickest with a 5 second sprint to 60. In the quarter mile, the Chevy is about a half second quicker than the pricier Dodge. That means the Challenger SRT8 is the slowest of the three when it comes to straight line performance. Although the Dodge packs 425 horses under the hood, it's really best at stirring up fond memories. The Challenger slots in at third place largely because its result between the cones doesn't translate to real world roads. Its handling manners are very good, but the SRT8 communicates too little and isolates too much. Our initial impressions of the Camaro have not changed. The Camaro's structurally sound chassis has allowed GM engineers to dial in the best combination of ride and handling among these cars. And when it comes to pure thrust, the Camaro SS flat out delivers. There's no denying Chevrolet has stuffed an amazing amount of performance into this car. But the Shelby's 540 horsepower supercharged V8 is just too much for the Camaro as the quarter mile proves. The Shelby also feels great in the corners. At turn in, the front end obeys with an assured confidence. It's very responsive to steering inputs and you can easily catch the rear end when it steps out. The GT500's real advantage comes from the fact that it feels poised and precise all the way to the limit. And that's exactly why the Shelby GT500 easily grabs first place. That's not to say you should cross the Chevy off your dream car list. It's still a great car and the real bargain of this group. Spend your money on a Camaro SS and you won't be disappointed. But there's just no denying that Shelby GT500 owners are getting exactly what they pay extra for. More speed, more sound, more precision, and ultimately a more purposeful driver's car. No matter how you add it up, the Shelby GT500 is the new tough guy on the block. <laughs>